Hi, Jim Berthold here, Vice President of Technical Support from OLI Systems. Today's video is about how to use virtual streams inside OLI Flowsheet. Uh, for this tutorial, we're using version 11.01 .01 of the OLI Flowsheet software. So what I've done here is I've created a very simple case. I have a, an acid stream, which I call mixed acid, and what that stream has is water, some hydrochloric acid, and some sul sulfuric acid. I also have a base stream here, uh, which is essentially just a waste stream of a little bit of carbon dioxide, a little bit of ammonia, and a little bit of SO2. And we're going to neutralize it in this neutralizer. It's just set as an adiabatic uh, uh, mixer. Uh, we're going to vent off any gas that it has here, and we're going to look at the neutralized stream. We have a pH controller here setting the pH of the solution to 6. I've already run this stream. Here, but we'll go ahead and run it real quick just to show you that it is in fact live and it goes through the controller very quickly uh, because it's almost it is at its uh, converged to set point and we'll come up with a pH of 6. The purpose of the tutorial is to show you a virtual stream so I'm going to create a copy of this uh, little flow sheet uh, using the same base feed and I want to try it with a different acid but I don't have to want to retype things because if I change this stream here, it will change automatically in the copied stream. So it's run here and I'm now going to copy this stream here, all of this information and paste it in as a new object. To do that, I'm just going to put my mouse over here in the corner and copy it all. I'm going to scroll down to give myself some room down here and I can just go right Click and, oops, not really there. Uh, Control V will copy the entire string. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, to copy the whole stream, I'm going to go ahead up here and click select all. Okay, then edit to select copy. I'm just going to move my mouse and then I'm going to select paste. And since they're still all selected, I can move it around to make it a little bit cleaner. And I'm going to actually uh, delete this stream here. That's the copy of the base feed stream because we're going to make an exact copy. All of these streams are empty. Uh, actually, they have composition here. Uh, but I want to have it exactly the same composition as this. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and we'll show it to you in just a second. Okay, I've cleaned up the diagram a little bit and put some names in here. I'm going to change my acid feed here. In the original mixed acid stream feed, I was using hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. And here I am using acetic acid. Okay. Now I want to add my virtual stream. That's over here in the, the palette, and I'm going to put it right here. It automatically gives me an outlet stream, and this is what I'm going to connect to my process. So we're going to put this right here into the separator. So this stream I'm now calling S1 is uh, functionally the same as this base feed. But I need to tell the program where did this virtual stream come from and that's over here in this dialog where I'm going to select the source. I can actually pick it by name which is in this case the base feed or I could have selected it in the flow sheet where I would have just clicked it. It, it does the same thing. So now my virtual stream here has exactly the same composition as this stream, and I can run it. The difference here is that I'm going to be using a different acid stream, and but I want to use exactly the same base stream. So we're going to go ahead and run it. It's actually going to run the top process, uh, because I've set it to run the top process. Uh, we can actually show you how to not recalculate these objects if you don't want. I've actually expanded the size of the window here so we can see a little bit more okay, and then it's calculated. Okay. What I want to show you here is that the original mixed acid uh, stream was adjusted uh, 
and has a flow rate here. We're talking actually this stream here. It was manipulated by this manipulator and had a flow rate of about 0.033 liters per hour. I'm using a different acid here, so I have a little bit more. It's a weaker acid, so it requires more flow. Again, we're looking at this uh, stream here as the value, and it's 0 .07. Uh, for seven liters per hour. So we used a different uh, acid and got a different uh, flow rate showing that it's still using the same base. In the next part of the video we're going to show you uh, that I can change this stream here and it automatically changes it down here. Finally the, the last thing we want to show you is that we can update the original stream here, the base feed. Remember it's copied into this virtual stream here. And I'm actually going to just delete the concentration of, of SO3. Now, initially, it may, you may be wondering, well, it didn't copy this. Well, this is actually a calculated stream at the moment. So it remembers the previous answer. But however, since it is a copy of this stream, when the program reruns, the new information will be updated in the virtual stream. So we'll go ahead and do that now. It's running here. Everything changes a little bit, but the thing to show you here is that the virtual stream here is not showing you any SO2 because it was removed from the original input. So whatever you change in the, the host virtual stream, or the host stream I should say, is copied to the virtual stream upon calculation. So that is a point of confusion that is not an automatic calculation. So this is a brief overview of how to use a virtual streams in OLI Flowsheet. If you have any questions, please contact us at the OLI customer ser service portal at http uh, colon slash slash portal.olisystems.com. Thank you.